Hello Aries, welcome on my channel, Triple Two Tarot. We're gonna do your November 2020 for monthly tarot reading and prediction. What's happening for you in this month? What's coming your way? It's going to be a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave the rest. You can book a personal reading. Everything is given in the description. You can reach out to me on my email address. Follow me on Instagram. Link is also given in the description. Do not get scammed. I will never contact you anywhere on social media. So let's start the reading. Sun, moon, rising. Any placements if you have in Aries, you can buy this reading. You can even switch the energies if you're cross watcher. So let's go. Let's start it. Please uh, remember that it's a general reading. Don't try to fit in if this is not your situation. Energy may or may not resonate with you. So let's see what's happening for Aries. King of Swords energy here. Page of Swords. Ooh, what's going on? Mm, your cards are definitely falling up. Yeah. Remember this this drop out and now it's coming again. Okay, it's a pentacle and we also have a nine of swords. Oh my goodness. Mm, Aries. You could be a 91. You could be born into a 91 or the person that you could be dealing with is a 90. 90s person especially 91 or number 19 could be important 10 uh, letter p or k could be important here and we have a three of cups okay some of you i'm seeing that you have a speech we have the sun card in 1919 yeah 10 10 you could be definitely seeing it number 19 could be important here something about 2019 could be Whoa, okay. Wait a minute. This is getting wild. Okay, some of you, you you used to talk to somebody in 2029, sorry, 2019. Something happened in 2019. Yeah, look at this. Something about 2019 here. Okay, let's see. That door is opening again. That situation is opening again, but with a new beginning. That person could be coming to you with a new beginning. I don't know, whatever this means. But something about 2019. Are you maybe getting over something from, maybe you are suffering from 2019. We have the devil. Come on. And we have the hierophant. One, two, three. Major arcana. Um, I'm going to get clarity of that. What is this devil? Strength card, come on. Bottom of the deck, we have a Leo. Sorry, I said Leo, so you could be dealing with a Leo, but we have the star, Aquarius energy here. This is another major arcana. One, two, three, four, five. Five major arcana total in your reading. Nine of Wands, Page of Cup, okay, I love you. She's holding, uh, you know, the board here, that's I love you, and it's like a blushing. P, okay. Two pages here, page of swords and page of cup. Interesting. Nine of wands and the star. That's uh, getting wild here or something. Okay, wait. I'm also seeing triple three on the clock. Okay. Uh, you could be even seeing five, five number a lot. That's a sign. And number eight, eight also, this is a sign. Leo, Aquarius. Leo and Aquarius axis here. Um, we have a Capricorn. Very heavy on Leo. And Taurus, Taurus and Scorpio axis could be... Okay, listen. Aries, what's happening here is that I'm picking up... Um, either this is you, okay? You're, you, are, you are studying. If you're a student here, you could be about to complete your study. Or you were really... Uh, somehow there was a break came up. Maybe you, are, you were seeing that it, it is very tough to complete the degree or professional degree. Or, uh, or maybe you were learning some type of a skill here. You were learning something. And you were like, oh, it is very difficult to get over this situation or complete this task or complete this work, whatever this was. But I think you are overcoming uh, this situation very successfully. I'm picking up. Some of you, you were suffering from something. Okay, I can see that with the nine of swords here. You were suffering from some type of anxiety, tension, depression, whatever it is. But you're overcoming through that. Could be even a financial struggle you are stuck in some type of a cycle and loop from 2020-19 or there was something happening please go back to that and remember and think about it what happened you maybe met somebody and this person came up into your life to teach you some type of a lesson here or you are learning from some type of a spiritual lessons or spiritual awakening or something that 
you started in 2019 okay that's it's like it's now it's a completion here something that you're going to celebrate now with the three of cups within this month or maybe uh within this month or the new year that's 2025 is going to bring you you know that happiness finally the joy um and i'm also seeing something about inner child here wow you're overcoming your inner child okay um healing healing i'm talking about inner child healing so finally you are going to be happy you're going to be free um i think you 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 have some type of issues here with the childhood some type of a trauma and it could be even involved with the drinking okay like a lot of drinking you have some type of addictions or codependencies or you know um on some type of substances but i think mostly it's a drinking uh, so i think you're overcoming through that now you will be free from something um because you're becoming more stronger but at the same time more happiness like you're choosing your own you 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 want to be happy so i think you're definitely cutting people out or you're just getting over this situation and you just don't want to think about anybody else and you're ready for a new chapter even though it's very difficult with the devil here but you will overcome through it now another thing i'm picking up here um there is some type of a communication coming from somebody you have a very very difficult uh, cycle with this person whoever this is and again please go back to the okay some of you it's uh, something about the now listen to me it's definitely something about 2020 2017 18 and 19 something happened some of you it could be when 2015 i'm talking about please go back to that please go back to that phase because we are completing you know and oh i'm not surprised because um, you know uh, saturn is definitely leaving the capricorn uh, sorry um, pluto pluto is leaving the capricorn and it's it's entering into aquarius so the cardinal signs i would say uh, especially uh, aries libra cancer and capricorn um yeah they're completing the 15 to 16 years of the cycle uh whatever it was uh so karmic so maybe you're already feeling this energy i can see that in your energy field you're already feeling it or you're just ready to start a new chapter so i think something happened in 2015 six, uh, 16 i'm not saying it but could be uh 2015 to 2019 period okay something happened to you in this time in this window from 2015 to 19 something happened or you went through something or there was a very very difficult time of the period of your life you maybe even met somebody but you did not see it like the you know importance of that person okay let's say or it's it's also talking about some type of a karmic and this situation was in the nature because we have the devil and next to the hierophant so this was a definitely a karmic lesson for both of you especially this person triggered um you know your inner child in you but with the star it was meant to happen so this is somebody that you have some type of a very spiritual and very divinely connected connection spiritual connection i would say and it's definitely coming from the heaven so you both can heal i think you both need to heal your inner child whoever this is now others of you this is somebody that you have a child with okay or this person has a child but i think there's a child involved or childhood involved it's very clear that there's a children involved, a child involved, or there is some type of a you know childhood trauma is involved that's triggered both of you. But whoever this is, I think you're dealing with somebody who could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have a Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, uh, Capricorn placements here. So I think this was very tough and difficult period of your life. But now you're finally with the Sun card clearly can see that where your happiness is and i'm also seeing unicorn here so i think you're just ready and i'm also seeing the red flag here so there's a flag here so could be something about red flag you you see this person as a red flag or this person sees you as a red flag but not anymore because i think that things are going to evolve and change between you and this person with this conversation with this talk with this meeting i think you're about to heal everything with the sun and the star it's like the, the burden is going to be released from your soul from your heart from your body but there is also offer coming with the head of end here some of you this is somebody who really want to now offer you something serious and solid they just want you to because i'm seeing these two cards came up together so it could be commitment or marriage this relationship is moving to towards a commitment marriage or even you know something solid the door is opening towards something solid and serious yes of pentacle so i think either you're thinking about to settle down to have somebody you know this could be even somebody that you used to sleep with you have a very like a very uh, what what they call <laughs> like a, you have a very like a hot chemistry with that person um you know like a bonding with this person or intimate connection with this person so maybe you used to sleep with this person or you want to because the connection is going to be very intense with the devil and the hierophant but it's a very spiritual connection i think there's something about giving here the nature is giving this person is ready to give you everything if this is somebody that you already know because i'm seeing with the nine of swords here this person is really 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 right now uh, you know like don't know what to 
how to offer you because they know that they were wrong or they did something wrong to you. We also have a strength energy here. This person is definitely gaining the strength and courage to step up and to let you know that they're into you, they're serious. Now, Star is also talking about, and the Sun, you both have a very bo very beautiful spiritual connection and uh, you make this person happy. You really bring this person inner child out. Only you make this person happy. So this person really feels some type of a soul tribe of a connection with you with the Three of Cups and the Star. I told you it's a soulmate, but with the Three of Cups and the Star, either... This is somebody that you're going to start with the Ace of Pentacles. Like this is like a door is opening. So either you both are going to start as a friendship together, okay, and then this relationship is going to move to a next level. Others of you, this is something about uh, this person could have a crush on you. They like you. They really like you and admire you with a star card, okay, and you really help this person to heal and you teach this person that how to overcome through all these challenges. Maybe you show this person a path, like a new door, a new opportunity, or something. But this person never thought that they're going to do it. So this person is done, you know, with the Three of Cups, drinking or partying or having fun. Now they're getting serious. You will see this person from page to king. I think you will see the improvement in this person. So they used to be a student or they, they used to be a child. Now you will see that improvement in this person, like how they are improving ISA 1111. So it's definitely your soulmate or twin, whatever you believe in, but it's a divine connection. I can confirm it. But it's also something in the nature of the karmic that you both need to heal the karma situation between you and this person. Now, others of you, this is a brand new person but i still believe that there is somebody here who want to talk to you and you just need to open to talk to this person have a very open and very friendly conversation with this person so maybe this is somebody that you're going to be friends with so at least if you not don't want to be in a relationship with this person let's say something between you and this person happened and you change your mind or you healed or you moved on okay with the nine of wands here there's something between you and this person the timing was not right right and nine of wands is also talking about it's a wounded warrior so something that you healed from okay and you're not in that energy anymore so this person definitely coming to you they want to express it to you they really want to tell you because it's like something heavy on this person soul and heart that they need to express it so listen to this person and if you don't want to get involved with this person romantically at at least you will be friends with this person they will be happy or whatever you want to be with them but they just want you to in their life you know they just want you so this could be that person some of you this is somebody that you used to have a fun with you used to have a party with i told you could be even a friends of benefits connection with these three of cups and uh, the devil here okay it's friends of benefits connection um it used to be in the past okay and some of you you need to be careful if it's not going you know red flag you cannot ignore the red flag because this person is like a very childish immature or somehow they used to be Okay, so you maybe see this person still red flag, I think, but I think you will see the improved and changed um, person of this person now. Now, they're also going to improve their communication. It looks like this person is all about to announce or speech up and express, the, express their feelings. I think you will have a conversation with this person. They're even going to invite you. Some of you, you will be invited somewhere. So they, either they're going to invite you uh, on their friend's party or some, somewhere like a party or want to have a fun with you, good time with you. You really need to go there, please. I would say, I would recommend you to go and talk to this person and have fun, uh, whatever they have to say to you. It's not like they have a bad intentions. They really want having this courage and strength to speak up and open this door for you. Another thing here is that this person is definitely sees you as like you remind them of somebody from their past or they were very, very attached to. This person is very attached to their grandma, granny or mother. So they see this in you or... Uh, it's like you're playing the role of a caretaker in this person's life or you remind, you remind them of somebody like their caretaker. So I would definitely say that could be their mother, grandmother or anybody that was taking care of them as a, when they were a child. So you really remind them of, uh, it's like, uh, of that person. So this person is really, really attached with you. Okay. Uh, and Ace of Pentacles, they really want to open up this door to you. So some of you, this person is coming with some type of a solid offer. They definitely have some type of a commitment and marriage on their mind. Or could be this is somebody who want to work with you. So, at, so that's how you're going to stay together. They really want to add you in their team, their friendship. Like they want to get to know you. They want to, you know, like you really make them happy. This person really feel very, very connected to you somehow. And uh, somehow this person is also like somebody who's very closed off. So men or women, whoever you're dealing with, you will see that they will open up to you. They want to talk. They want to communicate. They, want, they really want to make you laugh. But I think... Um, Somehow you bring this person inner child out. Now we have the star. This person definitely sees you as inspiration with the moon card. Yeah, maybe you don't see it. This person is worried though. They could be even in some type of other commitment right now. Okay, some of you. Uh, I think it's something to do with the contract or deal or something that they're breaking up. Some type of a, another karmic cycle they're breaking up. This person could be a student and you will be the, playing the role of a teacher here. It's giving me the vibe of student and teacher vibe. But I think the, you're going to teach a lot, this person, and they're also going to teach you a lot. So it could be something that you both are signing a contract and deal. It could be even a business partnership that you're starting, Aries, very soon, that you're going to learn a lot 
um, from this new skill, new new project that's coming your way. And also in this project or in this new um, new cycle, our new job that you're starting and signing a contract, maybe you're starting a new job or a new place or in collaboration with somebody, you're going to learn a lot. And you will overcome through your own fears and challenges. It's like you're going to challenge yourself, throw, throw the challenge. No, I'm going to do it. So yeah, so that's what, but that's what it is. I'm also picking up this person definitely put you on pedestal. Uh, they have a, some of you, this is a, somebody who has a crush on you, but this can develop into something more than crush. And others of you, you already know who I'm talking about. So something between you and this person is, it's like your wish is about to come true. You will be happy uh, because you were guarded up. Uh, you did not, uh, you know, allow this person to come near you because there was a trigger energy. But now with the page of cups here, yeah, this person is about to send you a message. Page of cups in the tower, yeah. You will be shocked and surprised when this person is going to reach out or going to send you a message. It could be even a confession. I think this person is blessing a lot. Because they're not, and with the king of swords, this is somebody who's like a very in intellectual, very intelligent, very logical. It's very difficult for this person to, you know, speak up the feelings, but they will be in that feeling and they just send you that message or they're going to reach out. But it's looked like with a tower, something between you and this person happened, like a tower moment or separation or something abrupted happened or the timing was not, wrong, you know, right, I see. Um, but now this person is really with this like energy here, want to talk to you, want to communicate. Now, some of you, this, you could be dealing with somebody who's a single parent or you are the single parent, uh, whatever the case is, but there's a kids involved. Um, but I'm also picking up, or your, your inner child will come out. Like you both are going to heal your inner child together. Are you used to? Because this is a soul contract. Whatever this is, this was a, there was a purpose here, okay? And if you're about to meet this person and about to start a connection and conversation, please open up because this person is going to give you this opportunity like time and talk, or they wanna talk, they want to meet, so you need to go. Another thing I'm picking up here, some of you, um, something that I was, I, I, I was telling you, like you were suffering from something, you're overcoming through that. You're healing. And how are you going to heal? The more you're going to heal your inner child, the more you're going to follow your dreams that you, you used to have in the past, or the, one, the fun, or the things that you wanted to do in the past, it's, it's going to bring you more happiness and joy. And I think you're also going to meet different type of a people here. Now some of you, I don't know if you're becoming a star, or you could be dealing with somebody who's a popular, like on social media, artist, or this person is an artist, they are very creative. If you are a creative, you're definitely going to receive some type of an offer here. Some of you, this person is in military, army, police, or some type of a high rank or high position I'm picking up. That's how you will know. Yeah, something about your occupation. I think new beginning is starting. Yeah, you will receive this message. I, I can see that already. It's a surprise. It's unexpected or call, message, email, or promotion letter. Uh, or something about appointment letter, like somebody want to hire you for something. They have an offer, definitely. Now, we have a journey. You will travel. Or this is somebody that you have been on a journey with. So, or you will be on a journey. It's, this journey is about to start. But something about your work here. Yeah, you will permanently change somewhere. You are leaving something behind. I think you're definitely going, another 19. You're definitely going to have a closure with somebody that you have a 2019 connection with somebody. Or that person is going to come back and you're going to have a conversation with this person. Something is definitely have a closure. Yeah, because the change is coming. Yeah, the change is coming. The cycle is going to be complete and there's a new beginning starting, either with this person or you're about to start something new and fresh in your life. That's your reading. I'm going to see you later. Bye.